Steve Dotto here, and today we're going to spend a little bit of time on cloud storage. Well, just really one aspect of cloud storage, and that is sharing larger files. It's always a headache if you have to send large files from one person to another, large photos, video files, audio files. It doesn't matter. And there's lots of services that you can sign up for that will allow you to send large attachments and large files back and forth, including uh, if you're a real turbo geek, you could set up an FTP service on your own site. Uh, but that's beyond most people's capabilities, let's face it. And, uh, and there are better solutions, especially now that we're starting to deal with a cloud-based world where everything lives up on the internet, where we should be able to use that in order to be able to transfer large files. One of the real darlings of the cloud-based computing world is Dropbox, which I have open here, the website at least open here. Dropbox is starts out as a free service, but then you can pay more as you want. But it's basically a really flexible cloud storage solution. People use it for backing up data. They use it for a whole bunch of different things. But it's I find it most useful in my life as a file storage system where I store files that I need on multiple systems. For example, I'm working on my master's. All of the documents that I'm using, uh, the, all the PDF documents that I'm working on, I store in the PD, I store in PDF format on Dropbox so that I can access them on my computer as I'm doing work or on my iPad as I'm as I'm as I'm working on them so they're always available to me. Works great from that perspective. But what I want to show you today is how to use it in order to share large files and it's really a simple process. What we do is I'm going to open my Dropbox folder here and when I open my Dropbox folder on the Mac or on almost any PC, it looks like just a normal file window. Now this is actually now not on my local drive but this is stored online. Let me move it over here so it's not in my face. There we go. It's actually up and online. It's on the internet. And here I've got a folder called a public folder. This is where I'm going to go to share files. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, I've got a large file, be it a picture, be it in this case here, it's an audio file that I want to share with the producer of my radio show. I'm going to choose that file. I'm just going to grab it right here, this old iPad. That's going to be Rick talking to me about the iPad that I've recorded here in my home studio. And I've loaded it up here into the public folder. Now, this is very cool. What I do now is I right click on this document, go down to the Dropbox folder. Do you see that? And ask it to copy the public link. When I've copied the public link, I can then go into my email. I'll open my email. I'll create a new email here. I'm going to send it to, oh, come on, let me create a new email. Why are you making me wait here? A new email. Oh, it's opening up in my other window. Sorry. It was opening up on my other monitor. I'm going to send this to Art, my director, and it's going to be interview. And when I paste this in, you see that it's now got the web link to that. So all Art's going to have to do is click on that, and he'll be able to download the file right away. It's that easy for you to now share large files with people. Now the thing about Dropbox is I've still got the free version because I'm super cheap. I only have two gigabytes of storage, which actually I find enough because what will happen is as soon as I know that Art has downloaded that is I will remove it. I will delete it out of this folder here so that it's not there anymore. But Dropbox for any files, it starts out with two gigabytes free and every time you recommend somebody, they'll add a little bit more storage for you. It's a great solution for doing these quick little file transfers where the files are just too large to send by email or irritating to send by email. And this allows us a quick, easy way to transfer them, uh, which is basically hassle-free.